Hey y'all, Chris Funk here. Just wanted to go over and do a video that I haven't done a whole lot of lately. Uh, my After the Honeymoon series, which is basically after you've had something for a while. Uh, you know, all the newness is worn off, all the shininess is gone. Do you still love it? And for me, you know, the, the Orion cooler has just become a tool that I use I use it so often that I forget to talk about it or forget to show them even in pictures just because it's a second nature tool to me. Uh, this is the 35, 45, and a 55, which are the, the sizes that I use the most often. 35 stays usually locked down in my boat. Um, it's the one that we, we stand on the deck, we fish off of, we do, you know, this is our, our, our basically a dry box. Uh, if I'm, you know, wanting to haul fish or whatever, I might take one of the other big ones that I know I'm going to be putting fish in. But this one is just for, you know, lunches, bags, other things like that that we carry. If we want to put drinks in it, fine. Uh, but for the most part, this one, that's exactly what this one is, is it just stays in the boat. Uh, the 45 is my run and gun. It's my travel and go with me. And I, I take this one with me to a lot of places. It's the one that ends up either with fish or deer or things like that in it. Uh, the 55 is the one that when I want aged deer for, for days and days on end, usually five to, to seven days, uh, the 55 is it. If I'm going on a long trip where I know that we're going to be taking a lot of gear, a lot of stuff needs to stay cool, you know, for that entire duration, or, you know, if I'm going to a place that I know I'm going to be catching a lot of fish or hopefully going to be catching a lot of fish and I need to have the capacity to bring it back, I will carry the bigger coolers. And, uh, you know, of course, we go up to 65 and 85, but, but these are the ones, and down to 25, but these are the ones that I use the most. So this is what I'm talking about. The, the 35, and, and one thing that I love about the Orions is, is that they are a rated, look, see somebody else wants to talk about Orions, we're texting right there. They are rated, the number is what you get. So that's 35 true quarts, that's 45 true quarts, that's 55 true quarts. So that's your true capacity, it's not just an arbitrary number brought out of, out of space. The other thing is the capacity for keeping stuff cold. If you do your part, there is... I mean, this stuff right here could stop global warming. I said it in my other joking video, but it's the honest truth. I've had a 45 quart cooler in a black SUV in Mobile, Alabama in July and held ice in it inside of it for five days. I just, I don't know many more that can do that, that could pass that test. So I'm just telling you, they're that good of a cooler. On top of that, being able to add the accessories, which is always cool. This little table, when you're in camp, it definitely comes in handy. And being able to just pop it off and swap it over so you've got the other side for holding whatever you want to put in there. If it's a wine bottle, for me it's a coffee cup, but I mean, it's pretty daggum handy. Or flip it back over to this side and it's just a table. Always love this little deal. On the inside of this one, now you see I've, I've done a, this is a Matt Cunningham special, a friend of mine, but he taught me about these ropes. But I do the ropes. It's got a divider, and that's kind of cool. So if you want to keep, you know, your, your, your precious stuff to one side and your not so precious stuff to the other side, at least this keeps it separated on the inside. So uh, I, I definitely like the little divider. This one has a very cool trick to it. Now I love this top. It's got my knives, forks, uh, uses a cutting board. You can see this has been used and look, all of my stuff is used. That's why I have the older logos. I don't mind. I love the deer heads on them. You know, I know some soccer moms might not like them. I love them, but I, I'm good with it either way. My wife loads these things up in her car and takes off with them. She doesn't mind the deer heads, but I understand. I like the new logo too, so I don't care. It's all up to you. But this thing has been handy in camp, using it time and time again. It fits just perfectly in there. You can close the lid, do what you need to with it. The gear tracks has always been a selling point on these. Now you see I've got the rod holders now. This ain't just for looks. Guys, I've actually used these for my rod holders. Uh, when I've been out camping, that's a great place. I don't have to stick something down in the ground. I've got it ready to go. I just put a rod in it as many wide as you want to. The other neat thing is if you're handy, you can, any track mounted accessory that you want to put on there, you can put on there. So I tend to, I put this together with a little bit of aluminum. I'll put that on the side of them every once in a while. I've got three more vertical rod storage tubes. 
Guys, I use my stuff. I use it all the time. I mean, it, I'm a stone cold killer. Uh, they're, they'll hold meat for me. I mean, when the knives come out in October, it is to put venison up to, for our freezer to fill up so we can eat off of. When I'm chasing spots, usually it is to bring them home to knock the sides off of them to use them. So I use them for my bush tucker, my wild forage food. I use them for my Walmart food. And uh, the neat thing about these is, is Angie can load them up. She can, she can go, she can buy ice cream, whatever she needs to. She can run, take care of my mama, her mama, or whatever th you know, trip she's having to do. Uh, if she's shopping for both of them or whatever needs to happen, she doesn't have to worry about stuff melting. She doesn't have to run and rush or change her plans to get back to the house. You know, and I mean, that's a very real thing. I am not blowing smoke. I, I'm not pushing your rope. I'm telling you the honest truth how we use these coolers. So they get used a lot. They get used often. Uh, I, I have one with me a good vast majority of the time and always have one near on an adventure so that's my after the honeymoon would i buy them again you better believe it and i would love to have one in every color and every size but i don't have the room to store them so i just kind of get stuck with the older colors uh and what i've got but uh i like them a lot and uh orion's been good these things have saved my bacon you say i don't need ice for five days that's fine, Danny. I'm glad you don't. I've been in a place where it took a 45-minute ride to go get ice. So, 45-minute ride on hellacious amount of gas and turn around and come back. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. You go ahead and ride out there and get your ice. I have buried so many cheaper coolers through my life as an outdoorsman with broken lids, broken sides, broken whatever. You name it. I have filled landfills with them. Not these. So, Yes, you can get by with a cheaper cooler. Fine, I don't even want to hear it. I love these Orions, and this is what I'm going to roll with until I ain't rolling no more. I hope I'd help. Y'all take care.